politics that's now erupted over the SEO summit. Photo op, where as we see this photograph here, Prime Minister Modi standing at the extreme end, which the Congress has questioned, asking Modi's position in the photo. Congress asks, why is India at the extreme end? That's the politics that's now erupted. We're seeing the SEO summit that's just begun, a multilateral summit in Uzbekistan, uh, Samarkand. Congress now questioning this photo off, asking why is Prime Minister Modi on the extreme end? And to balance that out, Pakistan is on the other end. This is the Congress's politics as they question Prime Minister Modi's positioning in this photograph. Uh, in fact, the Congress says a poor show at the beginning from Ministry of External Affairs is Prime Minister Modi, our strong nation, India, is positioned at the extreme end, balanced by Pakistan at the opposite end. Words of the Congress party. Let me cut across to Gaurav on that. Gaurav, just as the SEO summit begins, India there standing with all the nations while it's a, it's a summit held after two years. It's as it is, tense enough considering there's Xi Jinping, there's also Pakistan Prime Minister. There's a lot of talk that needs to be done and deliberated upon. But the Congress worried about India's positioning there. You know, it's a very interesting barb that comes from the Congress party and uh, especially when uh, the, the sting is actually in the tail in this attack uh, where, where uh, the Congress is saying that's the point that the Congress party is making in this. Um, of course, it's a political barb and perhaps would be responded to uh, politically uh, by, by the BJP, uh, hit, uh, you know, which will respond to the Congress. But uh, as far as positioning is concerned, there is a protocol uh, and positioning is based on that protocol. Uh, this is the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Uh, India and Pakistan uh, are two countries that are joining, uh, that had joined this, country, uh, this, this grouping. Uh, and it's only now that Iran will be joining uh, this grouping. So placement and protocol is something that the Ministry of External Affairs will perhaps respond to. The BJP will respond to the political barb. That comes uh, from uh, the Congress party. But the fact remains, like you and I were discussing, India remains extremely central to both organizations, whether it is the Shanghai Cooperation right. Organization, where India is the voice of democracy, as in the Quad, where India is very central to Indo-Pacific of, uh, you know, the policy yeah. of the United States, Japan, Australia and India. Let me quickly cut across to Gaurav Bhatia of the BJP. Gaurav, stay with us. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, we are looking at the Congress party now indulging in politics over Prime Minister Narendra Modi's positioning in this photograph. As the SEO summit begins, Prime Minister Modi is on one end. On the other extreme end is Pakistan Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif. Congress asking why, why this balancing act? Why India at the extreme end and to balance it out, Pakistan on the other end? What's your take on that? The comment made by the Congress leader is very similar to the low thinking and ideology of the Congress. And let me say this as a proud Indian and being the voice of every Indian that India stands tall today and Modi ji and his leadership reflects the collective strength and will of our country. It is sad that whenever the Prime Minister is having a submit, the Congress party Right. is whining, is making derogatory remarks. And even in the past, Rahul Gandhi has done the same. And right. when you know, he himself goes on foreign soil, he makes remarks that are derogatory to India. Mm. Mr. Bhatia, I'd, I'd like you to uh, put Gandhi you on hold for just a moment. We also have Gaurav Gogoi of the Congress joining us. Mr. Gogoi, what's your, what's your take when you say that Prime Minister Modi is on one extreme end? On the other, balancing it out is the Pakistan Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif. What, what exactly is your intention when you put out these words? You see, at such multilateral events, the position and strength of India needs to be on full display. That has not happened uh, in the run-up to the Shanghai Cooperation Summit. For China has skillfully negotiated with India, in which now we are losing access to areas where the Indian Army used to patrol earlier. And, and at this photo-op summit, it clearly shows what the host organizers of the event are trying. Their personal view of India is by putting India at the op at the right uh, left end and on the extreme right end, putting Pakistan as if to equate uh, India Pakistan. India is much stronger as a nation and far more economically developed, and it's no longer part of the India Pakistan axis. 
the fact that the MBA has not been able to assert that, the Prime Minister has not given uh, directions to MBA to assert itself, shows a, a weak in India. And I respect the position of the Prime Minister, but the Prime Minister also has to display the strength of India at such events. And he has, and his ministry has failed to do so. We are, our Indian Army has withdrawn from those areas where it used to patrol. I think it shows a very weakened India hand. And the Prime Minister and his government was known to say that they will show a lal arc. I'm not seeing a lal arc. I'm seeing a band arc. I'm seeing a closed eye. A closed eye to the Chinese. Mr. Gogoi, you, you know, Gaurav Bhatia, as Gaurav Bhatia has rightly said, this is, this is overlooking the primary issues. We are, we are looking at this SEO summit, indulging in conversation to do with regional security, to do with uh, bilateral Absolutely. trade. I agree with you. I right, agree so, with you. So I shouldn't the focus be on issues on more pressing? Security, how, by, how, how, by, by withdrawing Indian troops from areas that they used to patrol earlier, how is that strengthening or boosting India's security? By accepting such kind of positions in a photo op, and, we put, and these are all symbolic, these symbols, these photos have symbols which have a far more deeper meaning. Otherwise, they will not be a photo op. They will not be released to the world. But these photos are very important. They show a strength and they have a symbolic purpose. And I'm afraid that right on day one uh, and right in the run-up, the India's position has been undermined by the Ministry of External Affairs and by the Prime Minister himself. We are all surprised because the Prime Minister, when he campaigned in the 2014 election, promised to show a stronger leadership to China, and he hasn't done so. You know, uh, as we see here, like you, you may be looking at the photo op, but look at the messaging the Prime Minister Modi has sent out. He's not attended the dinner meet. He's come straight, arrived at the SEO summit just when the summit has begun. Uh, no handshake as well. So it's, it's India send, sending out a strong message that it's, uh, there's zero room for any kind of security threat, be it with China, I, I, be it with I'm Pakistan. Sorry, sorry, That's the I messaging really ideally should be loud too. and clear here, not the photo op, which is ideally protocol. You do know that this is I'm protocol. Sorry, I, I'm sorry, all of these are negotiated well in advance. Hmm. If, if the Prime Minister is going to attend or willing to shake hands or where the Prime Minister is going to stand, all of this is negotiated well in advance and the MEA should have taken this into concern, especially after India has had to go major concessions because of the Prime Minister where we have lost our own ground. Chinese are sitting on 1,200 square kilometers of Indian territory. That is such a major concession. And I think this is actually is a major uh, diplomatic embarrassment for our nation. And I'm very sorry for that the government of India has tolerated this and allowed this. All right, Mr. Gogoi, thank you very much for joining us on that, where politics, as expected, has erupted on the photo op. As we see here, Prime Minister Modi on one end of that picture. On the other end is Shahbaz Sharif, Pakistan Prime Minister. Congress saying uh, the, the messing, messaging itself is wrong. India is growing to be a superpower. That should have been loud and clear in this photo. He shouldn't have been at the extreme end.